Hey guys, what's up? Here's another video for my new Pokemon stuff going on. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my top loaded cards, the cards that I like the most and I personally want to protect. Um, there are two cards in here that are in very good shape because I got them from a third, from someone, but I don't know, this one's in pretty good shape, I guess. I put it in the top loader so that it doesn't get in worse shape, but this is one of my personal favorites. I used to have one when I was collecting cards before, but I got rid of the cards because I got out of it for a while, and I didn't have it in holographic form. So this is why this is one of my favorites. And this is going from oldest to newest in sets. So this one is not in the best shape. I still need to get one that's in better shape. For my collection, as you can see, there's a stain up there. It's kind of dinged up a little bit scratched up on the back and worn out like it's been played with or whatever and this one's one of my favorite reverse holographics as you can tell it's a rare and like I said in the not in not the best condition because I got it from somebody who didn't really treat their cards very well but basically <clears throat> all of the cards in this little bit that I'm showing you are holographics or EXs. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was my phone going off. This one's my personal favorite because Heart Gold Soul Silver was one of my favorite games. I'm torn between Gen 3 and Gen 2 with my favorite Pokemon. This is one of my favorite cards as well because of the artwork. I know it's so simple, it's not even like one of the hand-drawn artworks, but it's still great. Now, those were some of the older set cards that I have. Now here are the newer ones, still going in chronological order from oldest to newest. This is a Heart Gold Soul Silver Triumphant card. I got it in the first pack that I bought one of the first packs that I bought after starting collecting again. I'm going to throw the show these three together. I bought four packs of cards and got all three of these out of those four. Sorry about the light. I need it on because it's dark outside and stuff. Alright, now here there are a bunch in a row from the same set because this is my personal favorite set to get from the Radiant Collection and from just the plain legendary treasures set. Shaman is one of my favorite EX cards because of its beautiful artwork but I still love Reshiram and Imoga. And I love the holographics in the set too. The look of the artwork with the holographic being rainbow and striped is really cool. The X's in this set also have beautiful artwork. It's apparently really easy to pull EXs too because I got a few of them. As soon as I got this one I put it right into the top loader. Now I sleeve my cards and then put them in the top loader so that the top loader doesn't scratch them or anything. I used to keep my cards in a binder so some of them are a little bit worn out on the edges. I'm trying to work towards fixing that but anyways. <sighs> Reshiram, I'm still looking for the gold card. That's the only one of the set that I'm missing for Reshiram. And of course you got Charizard. I pulled two of these. I put this one on the top loader because it's in better condition. And I love the rainbow artwork on this one. Beautiful artwork. I've got two full arts in a row. Here, this one's from the X and Y base set. It's the last card in the set. 
not in the best condition on the edges there. And then this one is from the Flash Fire set, number 102. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Number 102 out of 106. And then the last one here is from Furious Fists. I've opened two packs of Furious Fists and got this out of it. I'm not a big fan of Furious Fists, but I do like the pulls you can get from it. Alright, and those are my favorite top-loaded rare cards. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.